somebody said Brian or Mike. So y'all, so this is gonna sound crazy. And I'm gonna get heat for this because I'm because all right, I'm gonna get heat for it for a reason. But I take Braun over over Jordan. Now <laughs> I just caught a look, y'all. I just caught a look. I just caught a look. Now let me explain. Let me explain. I know that sounds crazy because I I grew up with Jordan. I grew up in Chicago with Jordan in the '80s, watching the 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 inception of the modern superstar athlete started with Michael Jordan, right? Got to give him his props for that. Michael Jordan literally changed the game. Not just the game of basketball, but the game. There was no such thing as an athlete the way athletes are now until Jordan. But it's but it's 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 two things. Two things about Mike. Well, it's both basically this, well, so it's one thing about Mike that's different than LeBron that I'm always gonna pick LeBron over him, even in ways where it doesn't makes sense so is is lebron a better player player than mike no i don't see it i don't see it i i, I don't watch basketball a lot anymore i watch maybe uh i haven't watched basketball for real for real in like since like the 2000s but i watched it enough up until a couple of years ago to at least keep up like now i have no idea what anything who, who like who the fuck is john Morant? i don't know so, like, I can't call it on what LeBron's game has been the last five, six years. Uh, but I can tell you one thing about LeBron, which is why there's an old video. If you go and you look through my content, I made a video about LeBron that pretty much explains this whole this whole comp, this whole statement. Um, I'm going to pull it up real quick so y'all can see it. And then I'll, and then I'll, then I'll explain myself because I know I got some people mad. And I, I apologize for disappointing. Um, but, like... In this video, what I talk about is the fact that it's it really goes back to this to the Jay-Z Beyonce shit. So so Mike changed the nature of what it meant to be a superstar athlete. LeBron changed what could be expected of a superstar athlete. Cause cause what did what did somebody ask who Iverson is? Oof. Ooh, that hurt. Because Mike Jordan has a couple of famous quotes that have never sat right with me, even when I was not as left-leaning as I am. One of them being uh, Republicans by Jordans too. Mike is a black, I mean, Mike is a black capitalist. You know what I'm saying? Mike, Mike always cared more about his brand and his money than the, the people. And like, I, I, I was okay. I'm okay with that overall. Cause he's not, you know, he's not an activist, not a politician, yada, yada. He's playing basketball. So he's not, this is like solely his physical labor that has brought him to this point of like the highest point of his, his, his whatever. So I get it. But in the last decade, LeBron has said, yeah, I'm the best like athlete in the world. I'm the best basketball player in the world. And you're going to respect me. Like is LeBron Ali, Ali in terms of how much he's putting on for the, for the culture? No. LeBron's still a black, a black bourgeoisie. LeBron's still making all kinds of money. Somebody said the A trade, thank you. And that there was a line from this last season of the boys that was specifically pulled uh from Michael Jordan, where A Train says, I don't remember the line, but it's it's something like, you know, police buy A Train. Everybody loves A Train. Some shit like that. Um and so, like, that's always been my issue with Jordan is that at a time where there was so much that could be done, Jordan wasn't doing any of it. <laughs> Jordan wasn't doing the damn thing. So Mike is doing like decent work. Yeah, I'm talking about at his heyday when he had the when he had the mic. You see what I'm saying? When Mike had the camera on him, he was just happy to be there. You know who he was? Michael Jordan was kind of like Drake. Y'all know how I feel about Drake. And so like for me, like, you know, it's different. It's different because it's not hip hop. So it's like, there's no rule to say that if you're an athlete, you need to be like, me personally, I feel like if you're an athlete, you don't have to be out here 
on any type of revolutionary, any type of liberative, anything. Like, because you're an athlete, right? You're you're not like my my issue is always when you take when you pull from a black a, a black commodity to make your money and you don't give anything back. Like, I take more issue around that. And there's like some nuance there, but overall, you know, it's not the same. But to me, to be a black man in his position at that time and never say anything, like we're 30 years later now, he still ain't said nothing. <laughs> Brown's message, how can you see these hot takes, these hot takes without caution like that? It's only in one regard. It's just in the regard that you're really good at what you do and you are not interested in risking any of that. Um, <laughs> this clone FD 2.0, spicy as fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, my whole, listen, my thing is like, I'm not gonna like, and I'm never gonna make a video disrespecting Mike, right? I'm just saying when I see LeBron, you know, getting called out on Fox News, I know he's doing something right. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about like playing the game and giving to charity on the low, right? You gotta be agitated. You gotta risk something for me. You gotta risk something for me. For me, you gotta put something on the line. Um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do something to worry about your money if you are that big. And he didn't, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm sorry. So that's that's the end of that's the end of my career, y'all. Um it was it was nice. Up oh, see. <laughs> perfect time and perfect time.